Welcome to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke, and today we're going to be talking about how you can utilize artificial intelligence to expedite your Excel process. While you've likely heard of ChatGPT, Dolly, or any of the other currently available AI tools, what's less clear is how you can use them to automate your workflow. In this video, we're going to walk through how to use ChatGPT to pass any Excel test. This is our example job test for an interview. We walk through this video in a separate exercise. I will include a link above, but let's talk about if you didn't understand how to do any of these, how might you utilize artificial intelligence to solve this problem? The most popular AI tool today is ChatGPT. If I open up a new chat in ChatGPT and type in Excel, how do I tag employees that have been hired in the last year? ChatGPT will give me exactly what I need to work, and ChatGPT will give me a potential solution that I could use. So if I copy this formula and paste it in column G, now what I just need to do is update this higher date tag to the higher date in my table, and ChatGPT has solved my task, right? If I copy this over and make a new column called new hire, I can really easily see that only my new hires are the employees that have been tagged within the last year, where all of my employees that have worked here for long in the near are tagged as not a new hire. The key is understanding what section you will need to update. So I just changed higher date to reference D3. Very simple to add and implement to your table. Salaries will be determined based on employee rating. Use the table below to determine each employee's raise. And so what I could write is in Excel, how do I look up a value given a unique category? ChatGPT will give me the syntax for the VLOOKUP formula. They'll give me what each argument represents and what I want to understand. And then they will also give me an example of what I want to use or alternatives, such as the index match function. If I want to ask it for a very specific formula, I can also do that. So if I want to look up the employees rating in cell E3, my lookup table which is I13 to J15. And I could say in Excel, what is the formula for a VLOOKUP where the lookup value is E3 and the table is I13 to J15? And ChatGPT will tell me the exact formula I need to use. It will tell me what each of these arguments represent and how this formula is going to be written so that I can tweak it however I will need. So if I copy this formula, paste this formula in cell H3, what we can see is it returns 10% as the VLOOKUP does a rating on the A rating and returns a raise of 10%. If I add an additional column here, and let's just call this raise amount, if I fill this down, I receive an NA error for the rest of my rows. It's because my table array has moved as I drag this formula down. What I really need to do is I need to use a absolute reference to lock this table array in place. If I go up to my first formula, I can use F4 on the cell reference and then fill that down. And now all of my lookups are working correctly. My C's have 0%, my B's have 5%, and then my A's have 10%. ChatGPT, very helpful for writing an individual formula, but won't understand the business context you need to be able to fill that formula in to the remainder of your table. So the third question, calculate the total increase in salary expense in 2023. If I go back to ChatGPT and type in Excel, how do I calculate the total increase in salary expense given employees who are eligible and have received a raise? And ChatGPT, again, gives a very helpful answer. They've given us that assuming your data has the following columns, employee name, eligible for raise, old salary, and new salary, we can use the sum if function to simply sum the old salary column and the new salary column. They've given us the table of data we could use. They've given us the sum if function we could possibly use to calculate the difference between our old salary and our new salary columns. The one challenge is in our setup, we do not currently have a new salary column. We have our salary, eligibility, and raise amount. So we could ask ChatGPT to help us figure this out, or we could simply put in 
a new salary line item. I'll write this out to make it simple and use an if statement. So if new hire does not equal new hire, then I want to return the salary multiplied by one plus the raise amount. If not, I want to return the old salary. I can fill that down and really easily see all my new hires are the same salary, all my zeros are the same salary, and then my A and B employees have received the appropriate raises. So if we go back to the chat GPT answer, the formula would be sum if BB, yes. So if eligible for raise equals yes, take the sum of DD, which is our new salary. Subtract sum if BB, yes, and then take the sum of CC, which is our old salary. So we could do that. We could do equals sum if our range is the eligible eligibility column our criteria is not a new hire and then the sum range will be our new salary and then we subtract a sum if of the same range not a new hire and then our sum range will be the old salary and that will work and that will give us the answer or what we could really simply do is just take the sum of the new salary minus the sum of the old salary and that will give us the same answer. Understand, it may not be giving you the most efficient answer to solve your problem. And there may be a simpler way to set up your table besides what ChatGPT is recommending. Question four, create a new roster of just the employees receiving raises at the end of the year. So if I go back and I write in Excel, how do I create a new worksheet with just a subsection of my employees, only the ones receiving raises. ChatGPT will give again a very helpful answer. They'll tell us a sample table of data. They'll tell us the formula to use, which is the filter formula or function. And then exactly how to copy and paste a new filter data set to our new worksheet. So let's walk through how to use the filter function and how we would use this first solution recommendation by ChatGPT. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an eligible for raise column as what we have in our data set is we have a new hire column, we have a raise amount column, but we don't have a very easy column to query on that says, is this employee receiving a raise? So if I just add a new column and call this raise, I can simply do if new salary exceeds old salary, then yes, if not, no. Very simple, fill that down. I can see no raise, no raise, no raise. Everyone else is receiving raises. I can copy this table. I'm gonna paste it in below with just the formats and then copy in my headers to make copying this table really, really easy. And now what I can do is simply copy my ChatGPT formula. I'll paste it into cell B26. It's given me a circular reference because I'm trying to reference all of these different columns. If I change this cell reference to be just this table and then change my include reference to be just the raise column and hit enter. Now what I've done is I've recreated this table, but just for the employees receiving raises. And if I were to change one of these, so let's say I wanted to actually change Hugo first from a C to an A, I can do that. And now he's added to the table below. ChatGPT has also given us a way to copy and paste this into a new worksheet. If I select the filter data, right select and select copy, click on the bottom of your worksheet and select new sheet, and then right click and select paste, I can easily create a new worksheet with just this employee information. So if I select this data, right click and select copy, I can then go down and select new sheet, paste into my new worksheet. I'm getting a ref error because I didn't set up my formulas correctly, but if I use control alt V V now I get the values that I just copied and I have a nicely formatted clean table of just my employees that are receiving a raise. As we've seen in this video, ChatGPT or really any artificial intelligence tool can lead you to the right answer. But you still need to understand the appropriate business context to ask the right question and to implement effectively with any tweaks that are needed. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.